Welcome to Fast Philosophy! This video is part of our Translating into Propositional Logic series and explains the vocabulary of propositional logic. In natural language, we talk about individual propositions. For example, Socrates likes pineapple is an individual proposition. But in formal logic, individual propositions are called atomic formulas. An atomic formula is represented using a sentence letter, which is any uppercase letter from the Roman alphabet. You should use each letter only once in each translation to avoid confusion. If you exhaust all 26 letters, you could use subscript numbers to the right of your letter, though this is seldom necessary. It doesn't matter which letter you choose, because you'll write a key. For instance, P equals Socrates likes pineapple. However, for ease of use, it's best to pick a letter that's related to the proposition, if possible. In natural language, we often negate or connect individual propositions together using sentence connectives. For example, Socrates does not like pineapple negates the proposition Socrates does like pineapple using not, and Socrates likes pineapple and quince connects Socrates likes pineapple with Socrates likes quince using and. In formal logic, sentence connectives are called logical operators and are represented using five logical symbols. Arguably, all sentence connectives in natural language are reducible to one of these five logical operators. Not is unique among the sentence connectives of natural language because, strictly speaking, it doesn't connect anything. Instead, it negates just one thing. In formal logic, this unique feature of not means that it is a one-place logical operator. This means that it only affects one thing rather than two. If we imagine that P stands for any formula, this means not P and shows the negation of P. Not is represented using one of the five symbols for the logical operators, and this symbol is called the tilde. The other four logical operators are all two-place logical operators, meaning that, unlike the tilde, they affect two things rather than one. Where P and Q stand for any formula, this means P and Q and shows the conjunction of P with Q, and is represented using the caret symbol. This means P or Q, and shows the disjunction of P with Q, or is represented using the vel symbol. This means if P, then Q, and shows that P is the antecedent to the consequent Q. If then is represented using the horseshoe symbol. And lastly, this means P if and only if Q and shows the truth functional equivalency of P with Q, which we'll return to in a later series. If and only if is represented using the triple bar symbol when writing in formal logic and is commonly written as if in textbooks. When we combine atomic formulas such as P and Q using these operators, we call the combination a formula. All premises and conclusions should be formulas. This includes atomic formulas because they are, strictly speaking, a species of formula. For example, Socrates likes pineapple and quince could look like this. This combines two atomic formulas using one logical operator, resulting in a longer formula. So our logical vocabulary consists in atomic formulas and logical operators, and next we must understand the grammar and punctuation of our logical language.